I just got a delivery of two boxes of art supplies. New, fresh, delicious, yummy, I'm so excited, art supplies. And I thought, spontaneous, let's do an unboxing. I got two boxes from two different shops and we're gonna see what surprises are inside. There they are in all their glory. Box one, box two, and something tells me my hydrangea is dead. Okay, let's get into these boxes. I actually poured myself a cheeky little rosé as well because it's summer and it's uh, an acceptable drinking hour and it's rosé, so it doesn't really even count, so. Mm. And these rose are, sorry, <laughs> rose, cut me off. In these ruby goblets I love. I think these were my grandmother's, my great grandmother's. Anyway, I love them. I love looking through them and that changes the world into a different color. Not necessarily rose tinted, more ruby tinted, but anyway, let's move this and let's replace it with this. How cute, but how utterly terrifying is this knife? A friend gave it to me, a friend who's, a friend of my husband's who's super into knives, like collecting them, like really cool, you know, camping knives and stuff. Ugh. Let's see, okay, this is the first one. This is from Above Ground. All right, so I'm gonna close that because it, it terrifies me. This is from Above Ground Art Supplies. Now these are watercolors. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been dying to try these watercolors. Super granulating. You're gonna see, okay. Move, move, here they are. Oh, they're so precious and little. I just got little half pans for now in case I don't like them, but why am I lying to myself? I'm gonna love them. I'm gonna absolutely love them. So I got the, um, the forest set, oh. This is how spontaneous this video was, uh, hang on. I have some pastry in the oven, so I gotta go take that out. Uh, pause this. Oh, this is this is for my daughter, actually. Some more. Dare I get that knife again? Scary knife. I can do it. Yes. Anyway, she needed some more. Why am I busting into it right now? She needed couple more colors so I got that and but my pastry is not burning and I needed a new little sketchbooky book I just got mixed media instead of watercolor because I don't know just change it up okay so that's it for that toss that let me go check on the pastry and then I'll get into these sexy paints oh I can't wait and I'm gonna swatch them too I'm gonna swatch them for you all right, let me go get that pastry so it doesn't burn. Okay, I'm back. And I changed the camera angle. I've done it in the past where it was all up on a hill and everything. Ugh, makes me seasick. You can only imagine what it does to you. So we're a little closer here. And this is what we've opened so far. So a little journal, mixed media. Looks like lovely paper so far. Ooh, I can't wait to get creating in there. Break the spine. Oh, isn't that satisfying? That, that crack. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so we got that guy. Um, some more acrylics for my daughter. Save the bubble paper for my jelly printing. Grand texture. Oh, this is so stuck in here. What an obnoxious sound that is. Yeah, I love this permanent violet. So I say it's for Riley, but I know I'm gonna use it as well. And she was saying, I need red paint, mom. So red paint she got. Okay, I can't, I can't handle that sound. It's over there, red paint she got. Oh, here we go. And the piece de resistance. Oh, the schminky, super granulating watercolors. I already love them. Mwah. Gotta kiss them. I haven't even used them, but I know I'm gonna love them. I don't know why I'm singing it, but why not? These are the colors I got. 
You can get these ones, these in sets, and I just got little half pans. I think I mentioned that before. <sighs> Let's see. So I got the forest set. We've got, I didn't realize I was off camera there. Forest brown, gorgeous manicure. Forest brown. And we've got Forest Olive. What else have we got? We've got Forest Gray. And Forest Green. And last but not least, Forest Blue, you gorgeous creature. I'm gonna swatch these. Here, I'm telling you again, but I'm just excited and we're gonna see how delicious they are. Now, time to open the other box. There's something exciting and something new I've never tried before and I'm really looking forward to trying. I finally, let's see, this is gonna be, oh, kitty behind me. This parcel is from, I'm gonna make sure my address isn't in there, Wyndham Art Supplies in Guelph, Ontario. I'm gonna link both places below so you can check them out both places above ground and Wyndham shipped so wicked fast. Ugh. Thought I could tear into it with my She-Hulk strength. Here we go. Packaging. Packaging, packaging. Okay, so this goes with I'm gonna have to move this box because the camera is so low that you look at there. We got foam brushes. Also, this thing is so scary. The blade on that is a that is some serious. Alright, so cute though. Alright. Here we go. Let's move this back. And the box is too big. For this camera angle. Alright, so we got some foam brushes. We got four inch and three inch. Okay, I'm gonna need these for what's more packaging. More packaging. We draw on all that packaging paper. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I totally forgot. I got some water soluble graphite. Totally forgot I ordered these. I think one's black, one's gray. Yes, there they are. So we got, there we go, create a color and, all right, favorite custom. We'll uh, test these guys out too. Okay, foam brushes, water soluble graphites, and la la la. Let's move this box. Chuck it on the floor. This is the new thing. Never tried it before. I'm going to test it before I do a video, but I've been so excited to try it. Do you know what it is yet? Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is? <gasps> Cyanotype chemicals. Yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. So these guys are going to brush it on some paper. I am so looking forward to trying this. I'm going to try it this week. And if it goes well, we're gonna experiment and uh, I'll do a little video. Well, let me know if you want a video on cyanotype, if you've ever wanted to see how to do it or how it looks, let me know below and I will hook you up with a video on that. So, but I gotta try it first. So, oi, there's a cat stepping on me. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to just at these little babies and also, <laughs> we're gonna try the schminkies. Let's swatch these little suckers out. Okay, hang on, I gotta get some paper. All right, let's check these gorgies out. It's like, um, it's like opening candy. Oh, and I know they're gonna be so delicious, I'm gonna wanna eat them. Yes. All right, we got Forest Brown there. I should probably speed this up. You don't want to sit here and watch me open paints. 
Oh, I can't wait to try these. Just realized too, I've never used this brush. So we're gonna paint in some gorgeous little stars, pretty little stars. Olive, green, gray, blue, forest brown, you go first. All right, let's see. Need to get a little, need to get a little uh, tin for this, for these guys now. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, oh, already? It's absolutely divine, divine. <gasps> oh God, absolutely luscious. Look at these, oh, these, say these, because I just know the other guys are gonna be just as wondrous. Oh yes, we're gonna get some blooms happening. Starry, starry night. All right, you are sensational forest brown. Forest brown, looks very green for a brown, but, but seriously, let's wipe some up. Some blooms. Get a bloom, a little drop of water in there. Yeah, take a little up too. This is where you'll see when it starts to dry and bloom. And if I remove some paint, is when you start to see the granulation. You'll see all the pigments appearing. Oh, the, oh, I knew it. I knew I got the half pan because I'm, well, what if I don't like them? There's no way I wasn't going to like these. I'll let that little guy dry. And let's see what we've got with, I'm going to move these guys off. Let's see what we can get. Forest olive. I think when I was looking at the swatches, the um, forest blue was my favorite. Oh, God, but I do love an olive, olive shades. Oh, like olive green. Yum. Of course, I do love myself a good olive too. Pretty sure I drink martinis just for the olives because otherwise they're kind of stingy. Are you an olive fan? You like yourself some olives? Mmm, salty goodness. Look at the absolute beauty. Oh. What I'm gonna have to do, because seriously, there's no way this cam camera angle does these guys justice. It's like, I, I can't, I'm not sure there are words, really. I'm gonna have to film this at a better angle for you to see the grains, the granulation. So far, Forest Gray, the fave. But blue is next. And blue is my favorite color. Forest blue, forest blue, forest blue. Treat me right, forest blue. It's the new fave. Oh, I love them so much. These will be linked below and I'll, uh, I'll mention the other sets that are available too. The gal galaxy, I think there's a galaxy set, a desert set.
And you can buy them individually too. Let's see if we can get a little closer. These are still drying, but here we go. The forest brown. Yes, I forgot the C in Schminke, so I'll squeeze it in there. There's a little bloom. A little bloom here, a little bloom here. Yeah, still wet. Magical, magical. I got this dead hydrangea in here for I don't know why. <laughs> why not? For color. Okay, let's test these pencils out. And then I think what I'll do is do a little, um, I'll change the angle and you can get a little, little lower viewer of view. Oh, I can't even talk. Should we blame the rosé? You're right, I've only had a couple sips, really. Righto, we'll do the graphite, water-soluble graphite pencils before I get into the other angle of paint swatching. And I'm going to change this background up because that's super busy, isn't it? That's a really busy background, especially when you see these. You want to be able to see these scrumptious colors really well. So, but for this, it'll do. Let's start with Create a Color. I actually don't know this brand. This is a new brand for me too. Create a Color. I saw it on the uh, Wyndham website and I was, well, I'll give it a try. It's an HB, it's supposed to be a little lighter, but we'll see, lighter graphite. And then Faber-Castell, definitely know this brand. Also HB, and we'll start with that guy. Just do a little, little kind of face. face coming in here. Just a quick sketch. It's a little sticky. A little on the sticky side, but it kind of feels... I don't know. It's not bad. Maybe I'd like a... Maybe I'd like it a bit softer. That's what it is. It feels a bit hard. So that's the Faber-Castell. Wow, she's looking good. She looks like me, like she hasn't uh, slept in a while with these dark circles, making her more like me. Okay, so Faber-Castell, add a little water to this. Don't want too much. I'll just This is what I like about the water-soluble graphite and water-soluble pens I like too, because I like that kind of messy, smudgy look and you can really play with tone. You can soften hard lines. You can make the bags under her eyes much more exaggerated. <laughs> okay, color in this here. Okay, you can give her some little cheek color or tone anyway. You borrow some from there to make it darker. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they do what they're supposed to do, right? So that works. Now, let's try create a color. Next, let's see if I find a difference when I draw with it. This time, oh, okay, okay. It's not a huge, actually this one, I think I like the way this feels a bit softer, even though they're both HBs. They're, um, can you see that guy okay? There, this one, this one draws a little nicer, actually. Oh, I just made that kitty look a little on the angry side. Now we'll see what happens when we add water. Some little dots up here. Little kitty patterns. You know, you gotta draw the inside of the ear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's fill this in a little more. Give it a little more depth. Okay, see how you look. Yeah, so far, I think I like, I prefer writing or drawing with this one. I don't see too much of a tonal difference, like with it being a lighter 
you know, meant to be a lighter gray. Maybe it's not meant to be a lighter gray. Perhaps I read the description wrong or added some words of my own to it. Um, because it seems, it seems pretty similar to the other one. The Faber-Castell one. Well, I like them both and I will use them both because they do what I want to do. Let's get some more definition in here and a little mouth. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 All right, little kitty kitty. There we go. I think I like, uh, I think I like this pencil better. But we'll see. Uh, what I have to do now is test out uh, some softer ones. I think I definitely prefer softer too hard. But here we go. This is Faber-Castell, this frightening lady up here with the wonky eyes and kitty cat is create a color. Cool, cool, cool beans. Let's, let's get onto the paints again. Here we are, look at this. We're nice and close now. So we get, I've got all the colors listed here. I'm gonna pop this down. I'm gonna activate them a little with a spritz of water. Let's get them a little juicier. I can already see the uh, the colors breaking out of them. It's just fabulous. Let's get some cat hair off of here. Okay, doke. Soak my brush. We'll start. I'm gonna do it in the same order. We've got forest brown. We'll get a nice little swatch happening here. Yes, yeah, so delicious. This way, we can get a little more pigment in, and I'm going to get some harder edges. It's going to be fun to try mixing these colors too, I think. See what we can come up with. Here we go. Push some of this paint, this wet paint, to the edge. I'm actually kind of thinking this looks a bit like a giant pickle. You'll see when I zoom out again. Can you see it breaking out? Look at these beauties. Oh, you can just play. It's like playing in a rainy puddle, only more magical. Let's just leave this one. I'm playing, forgetting I have other colors. Let's do forest olive and let this dry. Forest olive beside the pickle. I mean, I'm sure this will look like a pickle too. Maybe we get a little more different shape going on so it doesn't look so pickly. You know what? Let's just call these the pickles. I liked the stars at the beginning. I thought the idea of swatching on stars would be fun, but you know what? I don't know. I It just didn't work for me some for some reason because maybe it's the points. I just don't know. But a star or the star is definitely my favorite shape. Really just push it around. This is just a play right now. I just wanna see how it looks when it dries in different ways. Next up, we've got Forest Gray, one of the faves. I'm still torn. I gotta be honest, I'm still torn. I don't know if Forest Gray or Forest Blue is my favorite. This is just such a beautiful collection together beautiful forest collection. Oh, I do so adore this color. Oh. The genius or geniuses, genius I? It's the plural of genius. Geniuses at Schmincke. Oh my gosh. You guys are absolute legends. Okay, let's pull some of this away. Isn't she an absolute Wonder. Bubble. I love shades of gray though. And I like gray skies, gray days. Forest blues turn. 
to become a pickle. Yes, look at you. Now, I'm still loving them after the first swatching <laughs> to the second. Yeah, the shape's making a difference. Which one is your favorite? I guess wait till they're all done, but let me know if you have a favorite. I'll show you how these look when they're dry as well, because they will look very different. You can pick a favorite when it's wet and pick a favorite when it's dry. Though I suppose when it's wet doesn't really matter. I love that though. I love when it changes and it just, I love mystery. So the fact that it changes into something completely different once it's dry, it's nice. I haven't left you much room, forest green, but you shall still fit. Oh, it's just so, I don't know, it's so opaque, this one. It's a very solid color when you first get it on. Oh, stunning, stunning set. I think my next set will have to be mm, the Shire set. Oh, oh look at this. Okay. I'm adding the water and you can see the brown pigment pulling out. I flipped it around. I should have done that with the other colors too, but such is life. I'm not going to re-record it. Hopefully you can see it a little better from this mega close angle. You can see the brand. Do you see how thick that is? Like there's a lot of water, but that paint is very opaque. Will make for a great dense forest. Can you see it breaking out at all? It's uh, there when I get some water, you can see it spread. Well, again, I will do some nice close up when they are dry and you should be able to see it more. And there they all are in all their sensational glory. I'm gonna give it a little dry. I'll do a little quick dry with the heat gun and give you a little tour of how they look when they're dry, but you can already see it. Look at this one here, this forest gray. Look at that darkness up there. Woo, these babies are dry. I'll go over them individually and tell you what pigments make up these colors. So forest brown is a combination of three pigments, maroon brown, raw sienna, and cobalt green dark. And you can kind of see those colors breaking out. I definitely see a lot of the sienna in there. A little yellowy undertone. Forest olive is also three pigments, viridian, maroon brown again and raw sienna again this is what's going to make them a happy little family of colors a happy little palette is similar pigments which tie them all together can you see the colors coming through here definitely a yellowy vibe in an olive green forest gray a fave we got three again. We've got maroon brown. See, there we are again with that. Cobalt turquoise. Of course, that's why I love this color. It's got turquoise in it. And Mars black, which gives it that scrummy depth. Ooh, the texture. Our lovely forest blue has is made up of cobalt cerulean and Mars black. There's two pigments in this guy. But again, the black giving it that nice shadowy depth. Our last beauty is forest green. Again, only made up of two pigments, which are cobalt green, pure, and mahogany brown. I mean, I can definitely see the mahogany, like a nice warm brown peeping through the crevices. 
our beautiful enchanted forest palette. Let me know which one you're drawn to the most down below. I'd love to know if you've got your forest brown vibes going, your olive, your gray, your blue, your green. Maybe you don't have a favorite. Maybe you just vibe on all of them. They're just beauties and I can't wait to go broke buying the rest of the sets. Mm -hmm. <laughs>